we launched the Tasty Pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs, and we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Tuesday, April 19th, 2022. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. If you're a 212 fan, this is your time to pay attention because your division might be about to get a whole lot more interesting. A few days ago, there were some rumors floating around about the potential of Brigon Ansley jumping into a 212 show at some point before the Olympia, which is interesting when you consider the fact that this is something he floated out there a few weeks back when he said that this would be his last year in Classic. Now, whether or not this actually happens is still anyone's guess, but it does bring up a few interesting possibilities, not the least of which is the possibility of him becoming the first athlete in history to earn Olympia qualifications for the 212 and Classic in the same season. So if it ends up happening and he goes the Sean Clarita route by winning outside of his division, I think it makes the transition into this new home go a lot more smoother. If you're a John De La Rosa fan, this segment isn't going to make you that happy because it looks like it's going to be a while before we see him back in action. According to reports, John recently suffered a torn biceps, which will effectively end his season before it starts. This is really unfortunate for John because he was just starting to get back into contest prep mode after taking the better part of the last year off. And you'd imagine that a setback like this will only decrease the likelihood of us seeing him back on stage again at any point in 22. But like we've said so many times before, when John is at his best, he's shown that he's someone who's definitely worthy of standing on the Olympia stage. So if he can get healthy and manage to fight off the injury bug, I wouldn't rule out the possibility of him returning to old form at some point down the road. For everyone who's been waiting to hear from Regan Grimes about what's up next on his agenda, it looks like you finally have your answer. A few days ago, Regan went on the record to say that he was planning to transition into a short off-season phase at some point within the next four weeks. And from that point, it looks like the goal will be to slowly add on some more quality size in a few key areas. Even though we're still in the early stages of the contest season, I think if you go back and look at the pictures from the Arnold and the Boston Pro, you can see that he's definitely better than he was at some point in the season last year. But he still needs to tie up a few more loose ends before he's ready to compete for any of the major titles. But with that being said, if he has another offseason like he did heading into 22, it won't be long before he's ready to take that next step. On yesterday's show, we did a segment on the new updates from Urs Kalasinski that ended up generating a lot of buzz. But with all due respect to Urs and the progress that he's made over the last few weeks, what we're seeing from Terrence Ruffin right now is enough to make you do a double take. Your reigning and defending two-time Arnold Classic champ seems like he's taken it up a few levels since the last time we checked in. And the general consensus from people close to his camp is that they couldn't be more happy with the way things are going right now. Outside of Chris Bumstead, Terrence is probably the only other athlete in the division who can move the needle like this. And barring something crazy, it's tough to see a scenario where anyone else finds a way to move him off that spot anytime soon. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.